Okay, I'm running out of ideas, so let's talk about can the human brain comprehend more than three spatial dimensions? Because um, a lot of times I am taking math classes in college, and in those classes you have to deal with the four, or five, six dimensional vectors, and the professor will often say, oh, well, the three, di uh, three dimensional vectors, you can visual visualize it in 3D space, and it's really easy to do math, but once you get to the fourth dimension, oh, you must be like a genius to visualize these things. So instead, we gotta just, you know, follow the patterns and I guess like deal with variables instead of 3D space and we should be good to go. Though that's not as fun because variables don't like look pretty. Uh, <coughs> so, I feel like it is possible for a human brain to understand, like, visualize more than three dimensions, but it would take a long time to get there. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, the way a human brain visualizes anything is just by having a certain set of neurons firing or maybe uh, strengthening, strengthening the connections between them. I, I, okay, I'm not a neurologist, so I don't know the details, but it is some chemical structure in the brain that makes us able to visualize, say, like, a triangle. Like, if I just say the word triangle, you can see a triangle in your head. Oh, this is a tangent, but some people have this a disorder where they can't see that, see images in their head, but they're still completely functioning people, which is pretty interesting. But anyway, um, we store information of, like, images somehow by, way the, by the way the neurons are arranged in the head. And think about how a computer is also like that in a certain way because there are trillions of bits that are either zero or one and the way that we can make sense of those bits is by relating them by having pointers pointing between them so if we want to have the computer understand a 2d array or let's just say a 1d array then well there's a certain way in which a 1d array would be notated um, within a file on the computer. So here's the interesting thing. Computers can visualize, or uh, visualize isn't a good word, word. they can uh, represent <coughs> vectors of any number of dimensions, or maybe I should say arrays. So like if you give it a 10D, if you tell a computer, I want a 10D array, a 2x2x2x2x2x2x2x2x2x2 two by 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 two array, it'll be able to um, store that information and reason with it and do anything like manipulate the data in any way that it would be able to manipulate 3D data. So to the computer's mind, if it has a mind, there is no barrier between 3D space and 4D space. It can do the math just the same. It can like understand it for whatever definition of understand we're using here just as well. So what does this have to do with human brains? Well, the thing about computers is that we can program them very easily. If we come up with a new way data can be stored, we can just flip a few bits, we can move a few pointers, and the computer now has more capability than it did before. We can't uh, manipulate our neurons as uh, precisely. So if we, you know, like, if we wanted to have a single neuron change the direction it's pointing, we can't do that. Um, and the only way we really learn stuff is a very brute force, general, and like blunt approach is, is just by like, well, I guess looking, using your senses to um, look at things from the world and see it over and over and over again until our neurons discover patterns and then we'll like hope those patterns uh, repeat in the future. So that's very inefficient because you have to see things multiple times. But what if we had technology that was, uh, this video is going to take up all my space on my phone, but what if we could rewire our neurons on the fly exactly how I wanted. Um, could we store 4D arrays the same way a computer can? Now here's another uh, important point that I have to make. Just because we live in a three-dimensional universe doesn't mean that our perception of the universe has to be 3D. Because our perception of the universe is not the same as the universe itself. One good example of that is um, the fact that we can't detect dark matter or dark energy. But that's a little like spooky. So another way to think about it is the universe is three-dimensional, at least as far as we can tell. But we don't have three-dimensional vision. 
Because imagine you have a like 10 by 10 by 10 cube made out of little cubes. So there's a thousand little cubes and each one is a different color. Let's just say like out of the six colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Um, and it's somewhat random. And you're looking at this 3D cube. You cannot have, like just looking at it once, you can't tell like individually what all the 1000 cubes are because some are in the middle, right? And you can't see inside of this cube because it's like packed really tight. If you had 3D vision, that would mean that you'd have the ability to pick up 3D information, which you clearly don't. So I would call the vision that we have right now 2.5 dimensional. So that's already different from the universe's true three dimensions. So I guess that's just me trying to prove in some way that our perception can differ from the universe's true state, which also means it can differ in the upward direction, not just the downward direction. I mean, also like when you like take drugs that like really change the way you perceive the universe, what you see might not be describable by the laws of physics. Like it, I guess I'm just trying to say like your sensory experiences exist in a different space, in a different realm from actual calculatable mathematical truths about the universe. So all we have to do is program our brain like how a computer can understand four-dimensional arrays or whatever, and maybe we can actually uh, visualize four-dimensional math. And like this is like far in the future. Like I can't imagine this happening in my lifetime. But if it did, um, it would be so much easier to do certain fields of math like linear algebra. Uh, I can't really think of another one right now, like topology maybe. Um, like so many fields of math would be so much easier if you could visualize 10 dimensions at once. And well, one way to like really get accustomed to things is to experience it ever since you're a baby and like that nonstop. So imagine when your baby is born, you blind their eyes and then you hook up a computer to their, I don't know, um, visual cortex is that, that what it's called the part of the brain that can sense vision. And then you feed it four dimensional input for whatever that means, and the brain is forced to cope with this information and make sense of it. And maybe after years and years of being pummeled with this data, the brain finally realizes, oh hey, the data forms patterns in the fourth dimension. Like, it doesn't make sense if the brain tries to reckon with only three, dim <coughs> three dimensions. So eventually this baby will have four dimensional vision and won't understand a world with only three dimensions. Uh, this would be like a virtual universe of the most extreme sort where like that baby would not be able to function in our world now. Um, I guess this is kind of like bleeding into the brain in the vat idea, but what this means is the baby is still human. So if this is the case, then the, it is a human understanding the fourth dimension. And of course,